Hi guys, in this video we shall discuss chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Right? Chemical properties of metals. Right? So when I say chemical properties, the metals are going to react with oxygen, acid and water. What are the way in which these metals are going to react? with acids, water and oxygen. Right. So let's first look at the reaction of metals with acids. So when the metals they react with any acids, they are going to produce salt as well as hydrogen gas. Right. So this we have seen in the previous chapter that is acid bases and salts. Right. Take for any example any metal, zinc when it reacts with hydrochloric acid. So what it is going to produce is zinc chloride that is ZnCl2 and hydrogen gas. Right? If you take magnesium, when it reacts with HCl, it is going to produce MgCl2 that is magnesium chloride along with the, that hydrogen gas is produced. If you take aluminium which reacts with hydrochloric acid, then you are going to get aluminium chloride that is AlCl3 plus hydrogen gas. Similarly, you can take these metals and react with another acid. For example, when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid, what is the formula of sulfuric acid? H2SO4. It is going to produce zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. Right? So, if you take magnesium and make it react with H2SO4, what you are going to get is a magnesium sulfate and a hydrogen gas. Next, if you take aluminium and react it with H2SO4, what you are going to get is Al2SO4 thrice plus hydrogen gas. In all these reactions, you can see that hydrogen gas is produced. How to test the presence of hydrogen gas? Simple experiment is there. Take hydrochloric acid in a test tube and put some few granules of zinc, few pieces of zinc you put in the test tube. Then when zinc reacts with HCl, what you are going to get is a zinc chloride and a hydrogen gas. So you just Close the mouth of this test tube by using your thumb. After that, just bring a burning matchstick or a candle. Then that burning matchstick or candle is going to burn with a pop sound. So this is called test for hydrogen gas. So the hydrogen gas produced is going to be burn with a pop sound. Okay, that is the test for hydrogen gas. Now do all the metals react with the same way with the acids? No. Or in other words, do the all acids react with the metals in the same way? The answer is no. For example, in case of nitric acid, the formula of nitric acid is HLO3. This is a strong acid so very strong acid at the same time it is also a strong oxidizing agent strong oxidizing agent what do you mean by this it means that this acid is going to add oxygen to other substances right so when this metals react with HNO3 they do not form H2 gas H2 gas is not produced why? The simple reason is simple. initially when metals they react with HNO3 hydrogen gas it is produced but because this is a strong oxidizing agent because HNO3 or nitric acid 
is a strong oxidizing agent it is going to add oxygen to this hydrogen and it becomes h2o so here you will not have a hydrogen gas produced so it means that not all metals or not all acids react with metals to form hydrogen gas because hlo3 is a strong oxidizing agent meaning it is going to add oxygen to other substances so hydrogen gas which is produced in the reaction is going to be oxidized to water by hlo3 in the same time at the same time this is going to be reduced it itself reduces into one of the oxides of the nitrogen one of the oxides of nitrogen it means that this in hlo3 when you re when you remove this hydrogen gas so what may remain is no or no2 or n2o it means nitrogen monoxide nitrogen dioxide and this is nitrous oxide it means that in the reaction of the acid with the metals one thing is hydrogen gas is oxidized to h2o and one more thing is this hlo3 itself undergoes reduction if it is oxidizing something it is reducing itself please understand this if we have five rupees then if you give it to someone someone has that five rupees it means that you have lost five rupees right so it means that nitric acid when it gives oxygen to someone it means that it has lost oxygen so something which has lost oxygen you can say that it is reduced right so it it reduces itself into oxides of nitrogen so it can be no no2 or n2o here one of the interesting point is that this n2o which is also known as the nitrous oxide is also known as laughing gas is also known as what laughing Yes, it means when you smell it, you will get a laughter. Right? So this is the reaction of metals with the acid. I hope you understood this. Thank you.